Hello, good evening, welcome to my glittery abode in the middle of nowhere. Thank you Audio Trope for making this happen for me. This will be my fourth gig this year. <laughs> but we'll get into that as we go along, I'm sure. Anyway, very happy to be here. Happy Sunday to you all. Um, I'm going to be doing a few originals, a few covers, a bit of fun and a bit of chat as we go along. Uh, this first one's one of mine and it's called I Know I Am. <laughs> First one out of the way. See, you'd think it would be strange playing to absolutely no one, but I've done enough gigs during the winter months to be played to less people than this, so it's, it's worked in my favour, to be fair. Right, I'm going to do a Jimi Hendrix song for you next, because why not? He's Jimi Hendrix. This is The Wind Cries Mary.
is dreamily sweeping Of the broken pieces of my yesterday's life Thank you very much. I'm sure the comments section's pretty lit up by now. Thanks for lighting up the comments section, Mum. Right, this is one of mine. This is called uh, New Rocket. Myself up, get on and get out. You see, to get over you, I've got to leave it all behind. Leave it all behind. You see, to get over. To pick myself up, push on, I say, get out. You say, get over you. I don't want to leave it all behind. Leave it all behind.
wanna build a new rocket and build it quick and fly my way out. I'm gonna build a new rocket and so much and fly Build a new rocket, build it quick, gonna fly my way out, fly my way out. I'm gonna build a new rocket from these ashes and sticks. I'll sneak up on you, I'll be real quick, gonna fly. Thank you, that was New Rocket. Pause for a refreshment break. Well, I dressed up for you. I thought we'd do Suit Up Sunday, because um, if you haven't seen uh, my good friend Sister Susie's made a absolute success of Frock Up Friday. If you haven't seen her book, get it. It's a great, great Christmas present. That's ad-free. She hasn't paid me to say that, but it is. It's fantastic what she's done. Um, I know it's been a difficult year for everyone, but... Some positives have come have come out of it, haven't they? Easy for me to say. Some positives have come out of it, haven't they? Few, but some. So yeah, Sister Susie does Frock Up Friday. I'm going Suit Up Sunday. So, cheers. Right, do another one of mine next, I think. This one's called KIA. Well, 
then you pay me now. Well, if you wanna arrest me, baby, then you arrest me now. If you want to play me, I'll show you. If you want to play me, I'll show you. Thank you. <coughs> right, I'm going to do a Beatles song for you, because any Hastings musician knows, having played Beatles Day many times, that you end up with a lot of Beatles covers in your set. And uh, I saw on Facebook today, it's 20 years to the day since the first ever Beatles Day. 20 years. It was at Pizarro's, and I was there. So, feeling a bit old. I might have another drink after thinking about that. Mm. Yeah, I've played many Beatles days. Pete Prescott ran it absolutely beautifully for many years and good luck to who's taking it on next. <coughs> and uh, the thing we're doing a lot of Beatles covers is trying to make them not sound like Beatles covers. The people that do, do it fabulously, but I always try and do something different. Um, this one's called Getting Better, which lets all hope that things are. Baby, been feeling so much better. 
Settling. I wish my voice was getting better all the time. I didn't have a voice up until yesterday, so I'm working with what I've got for you, ladies and gentlemen. Just happy to be able to play some music for you all, to be honest. Right, I'm going to do a, another original of mine. This is quite a new one. Because, quite frankly, what else have we had to do for the last nine months? This is called Let's Call the Guy and Fight.
right, voice ba barely survived that one. I'm going to do a quiet one now. Don't push it, don't push it, Adam. It's so strange talking to yourself. I don't know how these YouTube people do it. You know, all those videos. Hi, guys. So click like and subscribe. I don't know how. How? Just sit in a room on your own. Ranting for hours. I mean, my neighbours around here must think I'm nuts. They're like, he's cracked. He's, he's sitting in there talking to himself. But of course I'm not. I'm talking to all you lovely people. So what they don't know, don't hurt them. Honestly, how do you do that? Right, this is a song I wrote when I was in Portishead. Don't Google that, and then it can it can still be true. I'm so tired. Yeah. Hey, I'm at this point where I am. Wanna give my heart away. Leave it to the other. Songwriter John Martin used to cover that a lot. Fantastic, one of my favourites. 
and he actually lived in Hastings for quite a bit. Lived in the old town during his during his height, during his he's a well-known Hellraiser, and uh, yeah, he, he he could definitely drink that man, and as well as everything else. And he lived in the old town for quite some time, and uh, left because it was it was it was too much for him. <laughs> so Hastings won. John Martin nil. But I'm, I'm going to play the song that he wrote while he was living in that town. It's called Over the Hill. do a song that I wrote uh, in the band Witch Picnic. So this is a slightly heavier song that I've never really done on the acoustic so this is a, a very public experiment that we'll all, we'll all find out together won't we? Anyway this song's called Harvest. I 
It's a bit of hardness That's the one I need So heavy up on yourself Thank you. Wonderful witch picnic there, ladies and gentlemen. Right. I'm going to play a song by Prince. Now, obviously he did many, many fantastic songs. But my personal favourite is this one. It's called Pink Cashmere. And it is a love song. But in this one, Prince decides he's not going to go the normal route of how to woo someone that he's interested in. He's going to do some knitting for them. Because he's Prince. And Prince could probably knit better than most people can knit. Because he did everything else better than most people. So mm. I reckon he could probably be a really good knitter. Just saying. So this song's called Pink Cashmere. And it's one of the strangest songs. But, you know, why not? If someone knitted you something nice. You might go out on a date. That was Prince's thinking anyway. Anyway. This is why I shouldn't be left to talk to myself. This song's called Pink Cashmere. i 
loving every single minute of every single hour until you're here. Say, so baby, who now don't you understand? Pink cashmere by Prince. He's gonna make her a coat of pink cashmere to let her know how he feels about her. So I'm doing a slow strip tease, aren't I? That's not what we signed up for. It's just it's hotter in here than it looks. The suit up Sunday has suddenly come down to dress down Monday. Right, this is one of the first songs I wrote when uh, I was in a band called Super Dog quite a while ago now. Uh, with uh, James Gulliver, local drummer for hire, James Gulliver, or as I used to like to call him, Jimmy Jambles, the man with the handles, the musical vandal, wears socks with his sandals, loves Advent candles, and tells them when Christmas is coming. Anyway, we were a band called Superdog for quite some time, and this was one of mine, he hated it, but you know, some people are tough to please, aren't they? And this one's called Better Man. Better man, better man. 
fit a man. <laughs> yeah, maybe Jimmy was right. <laughs> yeah, love you, Jambles. Right, I'm going to do one or two more for you. Now, so that's a song I did a long time ago, working with Jimmy and Superdog. Um, obviously, haven't done very much of anything this year. Uh, but next year, I've got, got something planned. We've got plans. Earl Grey phase four or whatever it is and uh, so look out for that this is one of the songs that's going to be coming up I've got a couple of wonderful people that I'm working with at the moment all will be revealed um, look out for the Instagram Facebook YouTube all that that's going to be coming but, uh, this song's called so many more now I wanted to write a song that was like those sort of dark comedy rocky horror tongue-in-cheek sort of things and uh, this is my attempt and this is called so many more and it's going to be part of the new new stuff that's coming out next year We've got amy tarrant on drums amy tarrant the girl with the talent and uh victoria mcdonald victoria mcdonald victoria mcdonald no relation to ronald not just a pretty face man she can play the bass she's coming next year with me and Amy and Earl Grey are going to be back, so look out for it. There's just so many more. Part of my 
days Of my confessions about Dave The police in his garden They think they freed all Dave's slaves But I know There's so many more I know There's so many more But they don't know Marvellous. Well, like I say, look out for us next year. Earl Grey's coming back. It's coming back slightly different, slightly changed. And, uh, yeah, more will be to follow. So, anyway, I'm going to do one more for you. Um, 2020 has been difficult, hasn't it? It's been very strange. But I do think that it's taught us a lot of stuff. I think we've learned what really matters. It's helped with a sense of community and banding together and being confused by rules that make no complete sense whatsoever and uh yeah but a lot of good's also come of it you've got to look for the silver linings and it's 2021 next so christ knows what's going to happen there but one of the things that happened in 2020 that really upset me was uh, peter green my favorite guitar player of all time the reason i started playing the guitar in the first place he passed away so i'm going to play this song for peter green now and uh, then bid you all adieu. <laughs> The sheep I'm in, I can't sing, I ain't pretty, and my legs are thin. Don't ask me what I think of you, I might not give the answer that you want me to. To God, I knew he'd understand. He said, Stick by me, I'll be your garden hand. Don't ask me what I think of you. I might not get the answer that you want me to. Thank you.
very much, everyone. Have a great week. Have a great Christmas. We'll see you in the new year.